means the icky, sticky, nasty bugs of season is coming. We are going to be making drum roll bug spray. So, uh, for this, we're going to be using essential oils. Um, we're going to be using this witch hazel and auto which is empty and this you're not supposed to use this without asking your parents permission when you are making your bugs spray because this is not good for you so if you're making it for your parents or grandparents or someone a grown-up still you could add it but we are not going to be using this, this and it's called eucalyptus. We're not going, it's not safe for kids anytime. Do not use it if you're making it for yourself when you're in a little age, like five years old, six years old. So, putting it away. So, let's get started now that you know the rules got the essential oils out and i'm going to tell you what we what flavors we need so first the orange one is fragrance and this one is this is a lavender This is lemon grass. This is tea tree oil. Tea tree. Rose ship. And last but it's not least is peppermint. So these flavors we need. Six flavors equals six. So we'll, once again, I have, we need fragrance, lemongrass, tea tree, rose ship, lavender, and peppermint. So these are the six flavors you need. Side. Get to make it. So let's get started. For if it's hard for you to pour the the thing in the like the flavor in, you can use this and a funnel. This is a collector, and this is a funnel. So if you put the funnel in here, that that little hole over here, it will drip it inside, whatever you're at. So what is doing? Okay. So now we're going first we're going to add witch hazel. Okay, it's getting fun. It's taking time, so I think I'm going to completely, completely open it. Since it was taking time, I opened the lid. So now let's get on back. Oh my, it's filling up very quickly. So again, I mean, we're going to need um, 10 drops of essential oils. So... Oh my god. We added essent tea tree dye. There, we 
added the other oil. The, you know, tea tree one. Next is peppermint. They all smell so good right now. Oh, okay. This is starting to get so fun, guys. Oh, my hands are all oily. I better wash my hands after. Okay, next I'm going to add peppermint. The most favorite smelly color in life. I did not know that was going to happen. Oh my, this is so fun, guys. This is so fun. Next is a rose. All the smells just smell so good, guys. I just feel like eating them all. Now the last one is coming up. Oh, I don't, I wish this was restart. Frankincense is next. The orange one. Okay. This time I'm going to use a final. Come on, essential oil. Go in. done with essential oil so next we're going to close the back on the lid and shake it a shake 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 be careful it doesn't spill This feels good when I'm shaking. I shake, shake, shake. I shake, shake, shake. I shake, shake, shake. I shake. I'm dancing with the shake, shake in my hand. I'm dancing with the shake, shake in my hand. I'm dancing with the shake, shake in my hand. I'm shaking with the shake, shake in my hand. Okay, now it's done. It looks so bubbly, guys. Okay, so now that we're done with this, we're gonna put it in out. And now we're going to make the label. So, we're going to take a lid, a small lid. You can use any kind of lid, but I'm using a plastic lid. So, we're going to take a black marker, any color marker you want, and then we're going to trace the plastic. I love to trace. Especially when I'm going to have to work. Okay, now that I'm done with the marker, we're going to cut it open. <laughs> Oh, this is so fun. I feel like when I'm cutting, sometimes when I'm cutting, I feel like I'm a rock star. <laughs> what a perfect circle. Now we are going to uh, write bug spray. So 
you could use any color. You could use like black, orange, red, any color markers or color pencils. You could use anything, but use colors that are kind of dark. I mean, I'm using blue, pink, and black. So the top will be. So I wrote body. Going to use pink for bug. B U G bug. And then bug spray. And now on the sides, I'm going to write a bug decoration, like a spider or something. The antenna, um, its legs. And now I'm going to color it. Black Beetle. <laughs> next one. The next one is going to be colorful, okay guys? The next beetle is going to be colorful. So, it's going to be a very small colorful one. This one is a new beetle. <laughs> I love drawing sometimes or coloring. <laughs> Don't try to call me. Done. Special beetle, and this one is a regular beetle. Now we're going to stick it. Okay, so with clear tape, we're going to stick it. I love it so much. We have to color, uh, okay, we have to add tape very, very much. Well, not that much. How much the circle is. Okay, I got a big strip. I got a very big strip. Very fun making this. This is really fun making this. <laughs> so, the other piece. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my. Mm -hmm. God, I... Oh my. It just stuck on my hand. <laughs> Did you see that? Wow, it really worked. Just look at it, guys. It's our homemade bug spray. Body bug spray. Let's try it now. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, guys. Be sure you don't put it on your face because it will really hurt your eye. Oh, it's really smelling great. <laughs> you have to do this. It's really yummy. So now on to the next bug spray. So for this we'll need distilled water, white vinegar, and a spray bottle that which looks like this and it's empty. It's supposed to be empty. We also need essential oils which we used before in the other one. So let's get started. Okay, so I so before we pour it in, we're not going to pour it like this, otherwise it will spill everywhere. So I took off the cap and we're going to use the funnel again. And 
we are using to just build water. So now we're going to add another cup of dispersed water because it's not enough. Pour it quickly before it spills. Okay, we are done. Okay, it's very good. Okay, now we're going to add white water, white vinegar. And you can also use citronella or um, eucalyptus to add this, but I'm not going to use it because it's not very safe for kids. So stack it away like the window. Okay. Um, again. Again, the ten drops. because it came on my hand. <laughs> bad, bad peppermint. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I added two. We're going to add rose chip. Remember, ten drops is okay. Next one is tea tree. Tea tree. For three counts, it took for ten drops. What am I doing? I was in a bad luck that time. Spilled all Okay, guys, be careful. Don't want to make an oily road in the house. Again, we have to shake it, guys. It's the same old story again. Now we have to shake it. Oh, my hands are so oily. I don't think I can shake it. I shake, shake, shake. I shake, shake, shake. <laughs> In the evening, you can add the spray so they don't come near your house. You could go to the entrance anywhere where you think there's water. We're going to be making the label, but you really don't have to because on the other one we made a label, so you will probably know what this is, this next one is. So, but I really want to know both of them. If I forget what this is and I spray it around, it would be surprising. So, start. So, 
I wrote my label. It, I set, wrote in bug spray inside or outside. So now I'm going to take this tape again. Thank you, label there. Okay, so you could use this spray anywhere. I mean, like outside, I should say. You could do it around you, inside home. You could add it on your windows, uh, at the doors, anywhere where bugs are mostly coming from. So, hope you liked today's video. Bye, see you soon. <laughs> you have to do this. <laughs> In the evening time when bugs come out, you can add the spray.